All right, on this week's Hump Day Quickies, we're going to go over the Scan to Plan tool inside of Leica Geosystems 3DR. Let's get after it. So once we have Cyclone 3DR open and our point cloud that we want to work with pulled up, we're going to go ahead and select the point cloud that we want to use and then find our Extract tab. Under the Extract section, there should be Scan to Plan. Then we want to find a good spot. Well, let's pause for a second and talk about the good spot. You want to find an elevation that is far enough off the floor that things sitting on the floor aren't going to necessarily show up a bunch, like a bunch of tables and chairs and stuff. You want it as simplified wall as possible. You definitely don't want the ceiling because the ceiling can interfere too. So four or five feet probably is, is, is one of my favorite places to, to do it. Now that's actually for a horizontal slice. If you wanted to do a cut, you could very easily uh, switch the X, Y, and Z there. Uh, Below the X, Y, and Z on your slice definition page now, you have a thickness. Um, yours would probably be in feet. Uh, and then the resampling, I, I leave that the stock number. I, I haven't seen a need to change that yet. Maybe, maybe someone else has. Uh, and then you can change whether your limit box or, or slice are available. But I usually just leave them on. Once I'm happy with that, hit next. And you have these tools. Let's go over the different tools. So the first one is the magic select. This tool will go and follow the best fit line. It runs a best fit algorithm, follows it for as long as it can without a break. Let's try it a few more times in places just to see how far we can get it to go. Now you will get to a point where there's breaks in the data and it won't go any further. So that you can switch to your next tool of drawing tools down there is it'll just basically pick one C point and it follows in a straight line as far as it can. It will also, if it finds an intersecting point between another line and the one you just drew, it will create a, a vertice there, a corner. And then you have your third tool down here, which is you basically stick, pick a C point on either part of the line and it, it, carries them through like now the third tool as you just saw is it will just create a straight line between the two points that you pick so if one point is a little off it's not going to do the best thing So once you're happy with the polylines that you have, go ahead and hit next. Now comes the export plans option. This feature is awesome because if you have Civil 3D, Revit, any of the Autodesk products open, you can hit click the send to option and it will directly upload them to your Autodesk products. And I believe several others I'm just more familiar with Autodesk. You can also just export a DXF and open it in any CAD program. I can't speak to the floor planner. I haven't personally played with it, so I'm not too familiar with it. There you go, folks. It's really easy to use, really easy to work with, very intuitive. Um, it'll definitely save you some time uh, in your CAD software. Now, if you are spending a lot of time in CAD software, I would recommend checking out Cloudworks from Leica Geosystems. It definitely saves me a lot of time, especially in Revit. The, the auto-fit walls is, is an amazing tool to use. And they have floor flatness and a bunch of other tools inside there. So if you're not familiar with Cloudworks, I would definitely call one of my local vendors and uh, get a demo. All right, till next time. <laughs>